Hi ho! Now for a session of drawing creepy things with Wilhelm. Creepy things with Wilhelm. I have been developing a new story called The Bump. And the story of The Bump is about a thing that goes bump in the night. And so I was trying to wrap my head around, because that's like an age old thing. Like, what was that that made that sound? And I picture this sort of shape that's very playfully cat like. He's got like a big head. And in that big head, he's got these, these four horns. Or it could be two horns in a e ear. Nobody's ever been close enough. These could be ears, these little ones. But I like these horns. And the thing about the bump is that the bump has a massive, massive head. And the bump needs a massive, massive head to fit all those massive, massive teeth. into its massive face. You wouldn't want to be in the front of those teeth. And then it needs two eyes, just made of dark light. Dark light? What the hell is dark light? It's made of light in the dark. Now the thing about drawings like this is that I pretend that the pen is the darkness. So I try to take all these scribbles, this chaos in the darkness. That's part of his style. I imagine the bump to be this thing that looks like it's made of animated living scribbles. So even if he was standing still in front of you, he'd constantly be undulating and, and shimmering in all these scribbles. Now the thing that's very confusing about the bump, and something I'm not going to quite give away just yet in my story, is that people are really unsure what bumps like to eat. the reason there oh bumps have the cutest little tails just in case you ever got close enough to one okay wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i'm getting his anatomy all bungled up bungled up bump anatomy they do have the reverse knee these bumps but they're very much like a cat, I imagine, in their mannerisms. The neat thing about drawing a bump is that because it is so scribbly and it's moving that a lot of the time you're just working out your drawing and the bump takes shape. And that's kind of how they show up in the world, is they just kind of force themselves into the inky dark places. There's not just one bump, I don't think. I think bump is a species. I kind of like the idea that bump could have another bump friend. I wonder how a bump song would sound. There we go. And bumps 
do have claws. They don't do it by choice. They can't help who they are. The world gave them claws. Quite fearsome big claws. There we go. I think that's a very lovely bump. What is this bump doing? He looks like he's trying to take a step. Now, bumps, everyone should know, are a slate color. So when you see a bump, it's kind of like this blue, green kind of color, like there. Zoop. That is definitely a bump color right there. This is a radio thing that is just on in the background. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why we're listening to banjos. just kind of came on next so thank you Spotify most artists if they had a style they just kind of draw lots of stuff in that style and I would say that this is the closest thing that I have to a style that just naturally comes out um, I just do little highlight colors at the top. And I think a bump in a yellowy, yellowy kind of. It's in there, but it's like not all in there. And then if we can do some highlights. So we get some our white. It is important to note the bump eyes. And make sure the bump mouths are sufficiently large because they can take a big bite that is for sure I imagine this would be kind of like a fur Gertie where are you going you don't like the bump that big mouth huh I guarantee you you wouldn't notice it, it'd be one bite. Swallow you whole. Anyway, this, my friends, is the bump. Near and dear to my heart. I didn't know for years that this was a bump. Um, I just kind of always drew him. And I never quite understood what it was. And then one day, it just kind of hit me. And it is just like I understood. And that's going to be one of the stories for season four of Frightening Tales. And the last thing that you got to put on your scary little drawing is your name. Wow, we're up to season four now. And then I go like this. Nice. Yep. And that goes through there. 
because it's a M and a W, whoop. And then the M gets simplified to that. And then you just connect it. And that's how I sign my name. But that's too big. So let's go. Whoa, this pen is too big. Okay, double, double tap. There we go. What is this, Catherine wheel? Yeah, I like that. What's this doing? Silly rabbit. Oh, the pixies. Now, we're, this is the kind of stuff I like. Outside, there's a box calling. How can you not want to draw when the pixies are on? You just go, you just, you pixie it. Bump claws are very sharp. Made of darkness. It's worse than a paper cut. Woo! Then you animate them, you make them jump, you go, oh, jump it along. <laughs> That's the bump. The bump. What else can we draw? We can just shut off some layers. Boopity boopity boop. Make a new one. Uh, ghosts. I like ghosts. Ghosts is fun. Um, but I like a ghost. Wow, it's like I traced it. Actually, that looks like an ice cream. <laughs> okay, let's try a better ghost. Nope. Nope. These are kind of cartoony style. There's a an Etsy person. Um, I wish I could tell you their name. I can't remember off the top of my head. Don't, do not like. Um, and they just draw all these beautiful ghosts as like sheet ghosts, right? And I love the style. And, but they do them like standing in the rain holding an umbrella, that sort of thing. Um, goodbye, ghost. You'll be back. You can't get attached to your drawings. Tap, tap. You can't get attached. You can't get attached. Because if you are attached, then... You will, um, oops, that's too high. That was the problem last time. You're not going to, you're going to be so afraid to do anything with your drawing. Because all the time you're going to be worried about all the work you put into it. So you got to just... Be willing at a moment's notice just to delete the dang thing. I guess that would go like that if it really was a sheet. Okay. 
it would kind of hang off there like that and then that would go like that and then you wouldn't really see this line you would just see sort of that sort of thing those are wrinkles so you wouldn't see this arm either you would see the kind of the idea of where an arm was and then it would hang Obey oh, and leash the lion. And then we go zoop, zoop. How could I put that? John left hurting. Ooh, drop it open. I remember hearing a story about Pearl Jam. Eddie Vedder specifically. That he used to invite fans and friends and things over to his house um and if you were just like a huge pearl jam fan and you made the trek out there he would welcome you into his home and he'd be like let's just rock and he'd play songs for you and he'd be so impressed with the fact that you made the journey just to see him that you made a big deal out of him and then some fan who was just not right in the head was there and did some stuff that spooked and threatened his life and at that point he said I can't go through that again that was hard that was hard and that one person ruined it for everyone else now he doesn't take anyone not like that He'll turn you away from his house. And that's a shame. Because that was kind of a beautiful thing that he would... He could just have these moments. Like those first couple fans that just really appreciated the music and stuff and could connect with him. That's really cool. That's very cool. But then you get these people that are just unhinged. guess we're all just a little look at this little goatee I gotta get these wrinkles right that is not the erase button bloop, bloop, bloop. there we go there, there. go blue there Yeah, that I love doing thick and thin. It's where you like thin line, then you push, and then you let go. And the fact that I can capture that digitally, wonderful. Hey, bug. I have a different dog next to me. This is what you do with art pens. And then you'd, you'd smudge it and get ink all over your hands. Now, it takes a lot to get used to working with um, drawing on glass. I think that was my biggest hurdle moving to digital because there's a, a resistance and a tooth to paper and that's gone now. It's just smooth. Now you can get treatments films and things that you can put on your glass to make it act more like a paper I think, I think that is wrong.
I think this should be its own layer. And I'll show you why. I'll show you why. There we go. I also think that it should be not as fine, or it's going to take me forever. Actually, before I get too far, there we go. Okay. See, now I don't have to be as cautious with the erasing. All right, let's zoom out. This would be easier. Because I've zoomed out, my pen strokes go from being little tiny ones to being mighty huge ones. I believe this was one of the pictures this lady drew on her Etsy page. It was something like this. It was a floating ghost with uh, holding an umbrella. Now, I didn't want to go look at the picture specifically because I'm loosely just going off of something that I saw and I still want a level of this to be mine originally, like my styles. Um, way different than hers. Uh, let's see. Let's, it always works better for me. Um, I can do longer lines this way. You gotta get your hand off. You can't rest your arm when you're trying to do long lines. Actually, I find that the long lines look better than the shorter lines. So again, going back to my whole no fear, right? Even though there was a level of effort that was involved in it, if it's going to make it better, you just you do what's right for the sake of doing what's right. Now, it doesn't matter that I'm going over Because much in the same way that I'm... So now we can take our eraser and we can just go... And the other thing I can do is along the ground Still got my arm off the table. My elbow's like right in the air. As soon as I rest that, I'm no longer using my arm to draw. I'm using my, uh, my wrist. Now in here it looks a little messy. I'm a little unhappy with that. I know I was going to do thinner 
more comic book rain. But then it became what it became. <laughs> I don't think it's wrong though. so many life lessons in drawing beautiful and there's this little ghost no I kind of feel like that's a little high for him to be floating. So let's go back. The other cool thing we can do is we can take this rain and we can dial it back. Um, to make this rain better, we can do things like uh, put another layer behind the whole deal and then um, come on drawing uh, just get keep this kind of like as a, a, a top texture and then we get like a dreary something muddy and dark a dreary color and then we gotta get like a, a big Thing, but we're just gonna go. It's a dreary. This is a new layer, is it not? Yes, it is. Beautiful. That means if I don't. Oh. That's the pen I picked. Do, 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 do. It's the wrong kind of pen. It's acting like a real marker. I want paint, basically. I want just generic paint. No, it's a hidden layer. It's not a hidden layer. Oh, it is a hidden layer. All right. Let's make this brush huge, because I don't want to be doing this forever. Yeah. No. What was that 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 just did? All right. There we go. So now, to make the ghost punch, um, get my eraser look at that There we go. He just pops on that screen now. No. The ground, I think, is also going to pop. Bloop. So. Now, if I don't like this color, which I'm not really keen on it, I think... It needs to go more green. There we go. 
Hmm. This is the raindrops, right? Maybe this could be... I kind of like the gradient in the background here. Can I do a gradient? I can do a gradient. There's a gradient. There's a gradient tool, I think. Well, if we're gonna do a gradient and we like this gradient, let's just... So these controls over here are opacity, zip, 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 and the size of the brush. So let's get ourselves a soft brush, which I think that is. And then we're gonna kick this opacity down. And we're just gonna... What am I drawing on? I think I'm drawing on the ink lines. I am drawing on the ink lines. That is wrong. All right, so get back to our color layer. I don't think this is fuzzy enough. There should be one that's called airbrushing. These get really poofy. Soft brush, yeah. There we go. And we gotta make it massive. Poof, poof. Putting poof, poof. Oh, what a perfect song for this drawing. Do you really wanna fall in rain? Tell me of a fool I've been. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what a murky day. Okay, let me take the eraser tool. What the hell is wrong with you, dog? And let's turn this brush size down. No, we need this one. Boop, 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 boop. That's the rain hitting the top of the thing. Pitter, patter, pitter, patter. I like how the color goes outside the lines. That's kind of part of my style too. There we go. Now, we got a ghost in the rain with his rain cover. And now we're gonna take this brush here and we're also gonna go up to our soft brush. Cause I think I'm gonna dial this right down to 9%. Just want it to be a little bit darker, or lighter where he is. Cause it's like the rain is making 
in the dark. Next, we have, on top of all the other layers, we're gonna overlap on top of everything. Another drawing. So. Whoa, hello, those bells. Uh, I almost forgot. Inking, not a marker. I bought all these brushes. Technical pen. Nope, broke. I can't, nope. Nope. Good enough. So I pushed down and and so I messed with the pressure. It's never just empty. None of my style. There's always a little texture or drop or a light shadow or an aberration of some kind. Sounds like the wife is awake upstairs, which is a good sign that she woke up. track of time this is my scribbly style because the, the road is darker there we go and now he's sitting <clears throat> at us on the road so now you have a ghost doing a mundane sort of everyday people thing. I guess if I wanted to, and it's a little cliche, is I could put a bus stop next to him, but I don't think I'll do that. Anyway. Um, that's kind of my, that's kind of my, sorry about the armature bouncing around so much. But this is kind of my So we got Ghost Guy, and we also did doop, 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 doop. our creepy guy, the bump. Thanks for watching me draw. Catch you another time. <laughs>